So the beta was introduced in uh, August 10th, I think it was, is when we put it onto our forum. And 15.1 is really cool. It's got some some really nice features I'm, I'm very excited about that have been longstanding feature requests that we finally got in here. So the first one I wanted to go over is keyboard shortcuts. So if you go to 15.1 uh, and look at preferences, we have this new area called shortcuts. And you can see that there's two uh, tabs here. One is application shortcuts and one is document hotkeys. So we've always had document hotkeys which have been keyboard uh, combinations that trigger actions within Wirecast. And we have had application shortcuts but they've been essentially built into the system. And so like command S is a save. That's a keyboard shortcut or an application shortcut. So what we've done is we've opened up this application shortcut area so that you can create your own and you can add them, add more shortcuts to items that we didn't previously have access to. So for example, I have all of these shortcuts are already defined. I'm, I'm on a default keyboard shortcut set, so I'm gonna configure a new one. And now I've got access to all of these and I can make changes. Um, so let's say for example, I want to create a shortcut to open up my rendezvous dashboard. So I would just click on that as an option, click to record my shortcut and let's say command R. So I don't know if you can see it, it's kind of small here, but there's this little warning signal here next to it, and that indicates that there's some sort of conflict. So Command R is being used someplace else. And so if I go over here to Conflicted, I can see, oh, yep, I have this already configured. My rename shot is already configured by Command R. So let's change that to, let's say, Command Option R. That removed it from conflicted, so obviously that's okay. And I can click on here, customized, and see all the any shortcuts that I've customized here. So what's nice about this is that it opens up a whole host of actions within the app that didn't have shortcuts before. To be able to, for example, open up the rendezvous dashboard or scoreboard, so you can plus and minus the scoreboard. You can set in and out points. Uh, you can open up your audio mixer. Uh, so there's lots of things here that are available. So pretty cool. Now document hotkeys are the same basically as they had been before. They're just now in that in the same shortcut area. So I have a couple here that I've already configured, but let's just make one a brand new one, document hotkey. I'm gonna click to record that. Option shift three, I've just defined this as a hotkey. So now I go back to my document here and I have this shot called three up spaced and I want to assign a hotkey. So let's go to three up spaced. And so now when I hit option shift three, it should bring up my three up spaced shot, which it does. You can see here that on my shot itself, I've got the key combination, option shift three, so it reminds me. One of the things that we did change in Wirecast is that you can now, under shot display, decide if you want to display the key combination or the hotkey name. So if I change it to hotkey name, that would be three up spaced. I like it, the key combination, because it reminds me. The other thing that's new is that you can now assign more than one hotkey um, to a shot. I will assign my hotkey to that and I'll assign my hotkey to that. So now when I hit option shift three, all three of those show up. So it's a, it's a composite shot with my logo, my title, and my three up spaced. Um, so now let's say I want another hotkey combination that just has the logo and this full view. So now I'm gonna assign a hotkey to I have one already here called main shot and it's option command one. So I'm gonna assign full view to option command one and I'm also gonna assign my logo to my main shot, which is option command one. So now there's two assigned to logo. So when I hit option command one, it brings up, oh, but see I never cleared this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to clear this layer with main shot. So now when I click Option Command 1, it's gonna hit, gonna make the logo live, it's gonna clear layer two, and it's gonna make this full view shot live. 
option command one. So there we go, option shift three, and then option command one. So you can create nice composite shots using the document hotkeys and keyboard shortcuts. You're basically taking, you know, the peripheral that's like a stream deck kind of thing, and you're putting it into the keyboard computer so that people, if they don't have something like that, they still have the ability to super quickly and easily switch between shots and, you know, produce on the fly and that sort of thing. So that's really cool to see. It's been huge for remote workflows as well. People logging into the Wirecast, now they have hotkeys from their remote location as well. Yeah, so that's exciting. I'm really excited that we finally got that in there.